We are back in the kitchen. We're talking healthy foods once again. I got Chef Matt Payne with Morrison Healthcare at Adventist Health and also Angela Newton with Morrison Healthcare at Adventist Health. And very exciting. And I see a lot of good things on the table here, mm -hmm. especially that spinach. What are we making? Yes. So today we're doing a green smoothie. Uh, September is Well Baby Month and a big part of Well Babies, Well Moms. So this is something great for pre and postnatal uh, mothers to make. It's quick, it's easy, and there's a ton of nutrients in it. I know that for most moms, one of the biggest things that they want to do is not only remain healthy and strong, mm -hmm. but they want to maintain their weight. And I know that um, this smoothie, if I'm looking at this correctly, <laughs> has that spinach with the high fiber. Um, the um, We have uh, some avocado, mm -hmm. which some helps with the omega-3 fatty acids. With those omega-3s, not only do you have that joint health, but you also have that feeling of fullness that comes along with the goals that you have in weight management. And so and I'm kale. really excited about kale this. There too. Mm -hmm. So we're doubling up on the greens. Yes. Doubling up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So, and again, you were talking about women too, but th this is looks healthy for really anybody, yes. right? Oh, and we're throwing in an avocado. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're gonna start with half an avocado. Okay. I need a knife like that, Chef Matt. <laughs> uh, this is <laughs> yeah. a gift along the way. That's a butcher yes. block knife there. <laughs> And a few chef skills to go along with yes. that knife. So that's why people like me <laughs> don't have knives like that. <laughs> and, you know, any sort of blender will work too. All uh, right. You know, stick blender if you have it, whatever you got. Look at that. One of the things I love about avocado is the texture mm -hmm. because it really does smooth things out, makes things um, really palatable, and blends very, very well with fruit. That's one of the number one ingredients I put in a smoothie when I make a smoothie. But then again, I like just cracking open over, open an avocado and eating it right exactly. out of there. <laughs> All right, so we're adding, uh, we got the avocado, and then this is the pineapple, pineapple and mango. And mango. And then we're going to add a little bit of our nice leafy greens. So we, have, we do have a little bit of spinach and a little bit of kale. And I find this to be really popular, the blended stuff. You know, mm -hmm. everybody's got their Vitamix and all that kind of exactly. stuff. Exactly. So this is probably a perfect time to talk about smoothies because I think it's a, it's a fad. It's, a lot of people are doing it nowadays. Yes. And then we're using almond milk. You can use almond milk, soy milk. If you want to use you know, regular milk, that's fine too. And there's a lot of benefits to using, like, a, this is, what you say, a soy milk? Uh, this is almond milk almond right milk, now. So yeah, which, is, again, a lot of people in their smoothies nowadays use the almond milk. Mm -hmm. Back in the old days when I would make a smoothie, I'd use, like, 2% milk, but a lot of people are going to the almond milk. Exactly. Adds a little bit of protein. And texture. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> a lot of good benefits. Uh -huh. I was actually, you know, you caught me right there for a moment. I was actually thinking about that kale. She was thinking. Kale. I could see I it. I was. I was. <laughs> That dark leafy green mm -hmm. and the folate that comes along with it. I mean, thinking about kids and moms and thinking about how uh, the health benefits are really going to be brought out with this uh, dark leafy green, that folate is a really important part of kids' health and mom's health. Too. Well, it's so important this time of year. We were talking off camera a little bit ago that, you know, school is in session right now. You know, a lot of moms are looking for great uh, things right. to fuel themselves and fuel their kids. And boom, you got it right here. Exactly. Yeah. One of the nice things about this, too, is a lot of times in smoothies, they add ice. Well, add, ice doesn't really add flavor. It dilutes flavor and also uh. dilutes nutrients. So by using the frozen mango and frozen pineapple, we're going to get that slushy texture, but, you know, keep the nutrition. And I think some people think, oh, if I use the frozen fruits, the nutrition value isn't there, like I'm fresh, but that's not so much true. It's, it's no, 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 all. It's just you're buying it frozen and it's yes, cut up. Exactly. exactly. All right. All right. The magic of the blender. And you can leave this as chunky or as smooth as you like. You may like that little texture in there. And others want it totally smooth. Yes. All right, and we're actually going to do a fun little experiment today. We're going to have a little bit plain, and then I have a little bit of bitters to add, too. Um, I like bitters in my smoothie because a little more herbaceous kind of flavor to it. Is it like a candy? Uh, so like a bitters to this right here. It's for bitters. Oh, okay. uh, it's basically just spices. Oh, okay. And uh, you see in a lot of drinks, far from a candy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> see, I learned something new today. I know what a bitters is. Yeah. All right, so we're going to have you taste... That. Just a little bit of this first. Oh, we just spoon it? Uh, we can pour it in pour the glass it? if you want. We'll be civilized. <laughs> <laughs> so this is without the bitters? This is without the bitters. Oh, you're, you're saying that I'm going to notice a difference. Yes. And this, however many dashes you like. I really like bitters. I use a bunch. But for most people, kind of three shakes would be good. Okay. So how is it without? Good. Very right. green. Mm-hmm. 
And again, some people will add a little more sweetener or whatever. They're yeah. smoothie. So, yeah, that's good. All right. I'm recording the uh, flavor <laughs> in my head right exactly. now. Exactly. See the difference here. All right. And this is with the bitters. All right. See if we can see if I can taste the difference. Mm -hmm. And there you go. And again, Maddie would be very excited that I'm actually drinking <laughs> a nice green smoothie right now. We're very proud of you. Oh yeah, you can definitely taste the difference. Mm -hmm. Not as green flavor. No, it's going to give it a little yes. more kind of almost adult flavor to it, for lack of a better word. Yeah, but. so there, you get two different types of smoothies mm -hmm. uh, that you can add. So again, this is such a healthy treat for the entire family, the moms, the kids, even you dads out there, don't worry, hey, grab a smoothie on your way out to work. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, incorporates all these great uh, green foods, the fruits, and uh, just makes for a healthier life. Right. And moms, hand it over to your kids as they're leaving. Yeah, mm -hmm. instead of giving them that Capri Sun or, you know, something full of sugar had him a nice little smoothie well i thank both of you for coming in and uh, now go try it for yourself right. we'll be right back